Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another review and demo on some new color correctors that I picked up from Sephora. And these are the new Cover FX Color Correct Cream Correctors. Could they put any more C's in the name of this new product? Cover FX Correct Clicked Cream Collect... I can't even say it. Cover FX Correct Click Cream Correctors. Like, I couldn't even say that five times fast if you would give me a million dollars. Well... Maybe I could try really hard for a million dollars, but <laughs> that's kind of hard to say. But these are new cream corrector sticks from the brand Cover FX. I actually don't have any products from Cover FX. It's one of the brands that I've been meaning to try and just never end up buying when I go to Sephora. I do have quite a few little sample size of products. I just don't have any full size products. So I was excited to see this. And I know you guys are probably thinking another color corrector video, but you guys, color correctors are like the thing of 2016. It's like you get a color corrector, you get a color corrector, and you get a color corrector like we're over here everyone gets a color corrector so I just think there's so many cool products out there and new correctors that I wanted to try to review them all because I love color correcting personally color correcting and concealing are one of my favorite things with makeup I think it just brings so much life to your face and just it's so cool the things you can do with it and how you can neutralize and have a, a clean fresh base by just putting on some crazy colors and basically putting on more paint on your face so I think that's super cool but today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the review and demo of these new cover FX ones so this is what the packaging had looked like I held them up before just like a very basic packaging nothing crazy and then this is what the actual little click sticks is what they're called they look like little mini tubes of lipstick just little cylinders and the one thing I will say right off the bat that I did not like about them just a poor choice of packaging is that the tops of them all whoops, have purple and then the bottom of them all have purple as well and then they just say the name of the color corrector on them so I thought that was kind of dumb I was like why didn't you put like this is a green one so it's got a green sticker this one is yellow it has a yellow sticker instead they just put purple on them so I thought that was a little deceiving I actually picked up the green one out of my box and I was like oh it's the purple one it's got a purple sticker and then I was like nope it definitely says green so I just thought that was kind of odd like that if you were to pick these up you're gonna see tons of purple and get confused or you're gonna have to actually read it like it's a lot nicer if you just saw the color and would know which corrector you're picking up so also to let you guys know these are available at Sephora that's where I picked mine up I purchased mine online for $18 and you do get 0.2 ounces which does not seem like a lot of product to show you that's the only product you get is this little stick however I just did the review on the Urban Decay correctors which I absolutely love and those are 0.34 ounces but those retail for $28 one you're paying for the brand and it is a larger size just keep that in mind that this one is a smaller size but it's also a cheaper price so I picked up all six shades that they came out with they came out with three to neutralize redness and three to neutralize dark spots and under eye circles so first to tell you a little bit about what they say online and then I will tell you what each one does and swatch them for you it says it's a cream color corrector available in six universal shades to visibly even skin tone by neutralizing the appearance of discoloration so let's see the first one is green which this is supposed to be used for anyone that has very severe or lots and lots of redness and you put this anywhere you have redness or rosacea and it's supposed to neutralize that redness so here is what the green one looks like and I will swatch it for you and this is not a color corrector just so you guys know I actually burned my hand while curling my hair for you guys and I'm usually pretty darn good at it so I don't wear the glove a lot of times but I was like talking to my husband slash watching YouTube at the same time and I totally burned my hand so we're just gonna ignore that and then we're gonna swatch on this side so this is what the green one looks like just a really pretty mint green and then the next one that is supposed to be good for redness see how hard it is I have to like read like guys you have to read when you use these products um, the next one is yellow and it suggests yellow is used for the same areas of redness or rosacea but it's just for someone that has a more mild case of redness maybe you just have a little bit of pink in your skin or a little bit of a pink undertone that you want to neutralize then you could go in with the yellow one instead of the green I also really like to use yellow for brightening up the face I like to use it where your Sun would naturally hit you so like on the tops of your forehead and underneath your like um your the area you would contour just to bring light right back into that area so that's what I use yellow for and then going along with brightening up the face the lavender shade is supposed to bring light to your face as well and then it's also supposed to neutralize any yellow tone so sometimes people that have more of a yellow tone in their skin or their dark circles have more of that like yellow or bruised skin type of color the lavender shade is going to neutralize that you know how sometimes when you get a bruise or you get your um, blood drawn it bruises over but it bruises kind of to that yellow 
yellowy kind of brownish color, this lavender shade would brighten that back up. And let me tell you, this is easily... Out of all the correctors, my favorite purple shade. This is such a beautiful purple, and it's also the most pigmented. Out of all of them I tried, this is a really great purple. I find that a lot of the other ones are still really, really light, which is nice, but this is so extremely pigmented and beautiful, and I love just, it makes your, like, your entire skin just glow from within, and just looks like you just have this beautiful, like, model skin when you wear it. I love, like, easily out of all of these, the lavender shade is my favorite. So now the three last shades are supposed to be used for hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and under eye circles. And they range from peach, orange, to brick. And they're supposed to be for light, medium, and dark skin tones. However, you will see in the demo, I can pull off peach or brick because I love red under eye correctors because I have very, very dark circles and I have really blue kind of purple dark circles just because I get lack of sleep and all the hours I'm putting in at work so I love the red ones. If you're someone that just has a mild case of under eye circles or you just want to neutralize it you could get away with peach if you have fair skin or you could get away with orange if you have more of the medium skin tones but I'll show you in the demo how I can wear both and I'm very fair skinned and then also if you're someone that wants to just like clean up a little bit of hyperpigmentation or maybe pox or like dark spots from acne you could definitely use the peach shade as well. So starting off, let me find the peach shade because I have to read again. <laughs> this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like. This is really great, like I said, for mild under eye circles or for hyperpigmentation and dark spots for people with fair skin. And then if you're someone that has more of a fair to medium skin tone, you could use the orange shade for all those same purposes I just mentioned. And then if you're someone with a very dark skin tone or someone that has really, really, really dark circles, then you can use the brick shade, which is a really dark, deep red. So there you can see peach, orange, and brick. All right, guys, it's time for the demo. Now that I've told you a little bit about each of the products, you will see each of them in action on my face and how I blend them out and where I put them on my face. And then afterward, we will come back and I will give you guys my final thoughts on the new Cover FX Color Click Cream Correctors. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's time for the demo. So I'm gonna start off with my under eye circles because those are the ugliest and I wanna get those covered up as soon as possible. So I always start off with underneath my eyes and just as a reminder, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Like if I put a color somewhere, like that is not the only place you can put it. So this is just like the areas that I like to like kind of correct and the ways I do that. So I always start off with my eyes and as I told you guys before, they come in three different shades for like blemishes and like dark spots and for covering up dark circles. So they range from peach to orange to brick. So I'm gonna show you the two extremes um, of the spectrum. That way you can see the lightest shade, which is peach, and the darkest shade is brick. So starting off, I'm gonna use brick for underneath my eyes, or at least one of them. And if I didn't have eye makeup on, you could also bring it like in the inner corner right here because I also get really dark circles right there like the inner corner so normally if I didn't have that on I would correct that so there is the red shade again this was brick and now going in with the lightest shade peach I'm gonna do the other side just so that you guys can see what the lightest and the dark is and then orange is just perfectly in between these two colors So there you go. And because, like any other correctors, these can dry rather fast, I am going to blend it out a little bit with my beauty blender before it sets so much that I can't blend it out anymore. And so the key with this is to blend it and not just start rubbing. Just dab and blend a little bit. I mean, you'll go in with your foundation afterward and it will really finish the blending process out. Just make sure you're using tapping motions and really pressing it into the skin. So there is the red shade and there is the peach shade. So next I'm going to use the lavender shade, which is supposed to bring light to your face. Anywhere you have just kind of like darkness and sallowness, this is really supposed to help. So I like to use this all around my eyes, around my mouth and on your natural cheekbone area just to give it a really nice brightness to your face and kind of like a little luminous glow from within when you put your foundation on top. So we are going to do that and I actually kind of like to draw like a little heart when I do this because not only is it cute but it literally does get all the areas that I want. I want under over my eyebrows. If, again if I didn't have uh, eye makeup on I would do underneath the eyebrows as well and then all the way down the cheekbones. And then I will do around the mouth a little bit 
as well. Now this is one that I don't mind leaving on while I do the rest of it. It doesn't get too dry or anything like that. And then going along with wanting to bring brightness to our face, I am going to go in with the yellow shade kind of around those same areas as well and just bring a little more life to the face. And then I also like to use it underneath my jawline where I also would naturally, you know, bring light back to the face if I were contouring. And then I like to use it on the perimeters of my face as well. So now, look how cute those colors are. So now I'm going to go in with correcting redness. And since I do have quite a bit of redness on my chin, I'm going to use the green shade. You can also use the yellow shade for mild redness as well. If you're just someone that has just like a little bit of pink in your skin that you want to correct, I would suggest using the yellow. And if you're someone that has rosacea or very just red pigmentation in your skin, then I would use the green one. So I tend to have a lot of redness on my chin and on my nose. And then right in between my eyebrows, like, pfft, it's the weirdest thing, in between my eyebrows. You would think, like, I was plucking my eyebrows, how red they get. And then sometimes on, like, the apples of my cheek, I also get red. So that is using all of them except for the orange shade, just because I wanted to show you the two different ends of the spectrum. But now that we look cute and crazy looking, I'm going to just blend this out. And again, I'm using stamping motions and not swiping this all over my face. That way it blends into the skin rather than just brushing it on top. And then afterward, I will go in with my foundation and finish blending everything out. And these blend out so easily. I mean, you can see how easily they're just blending out and they are very creamy. I will say the dr most drying out of the bunch are the red shades. Anything in that peach to red shade is on the more drying shot. It's on the more drying side compared to like the lavender and the green and the yellow. I find that those are the most creamy and moisturizing. So now that it's good enough, I am going to go in with my foundation so you guys can see how it lays on top of it and how everything blends out beautifully. Alright guys, that was the demo. I hope you enjoyed watching that and found it helpful or just fun to watch me paint my face like a crazy person. But I love these Cover FX um, new cream correctors. I like the formula. I will say if you're someone that has more dry skin, you may not like some of them. I would say that the yellow, green, and the lavender are the most moisturizing and they're most blendable and very, very creamy and easy to work with. I'd say that the red shades lean on the drier side where they kind of tug at your skin a little bit and take a little bit more work to blend them out. Even though they're all very blendable, they just kind of set wherever you put them and so you have to blend them out rather quickly. So I would say if you're someone that has dry under eye circles you may not like the orange and the brick shade you could get away with the peach shade but that if you're someone looking for very very creamy correctors that you may not be the biggest fan of these because they are definitely not the most moisturizing they are creamy again the lighter shades are the most creamy so I think if you're someone with dry skin, you may not absolutely love this product. I do have combo to oily skin. I really enjoy them. I don't find that they make me oily or fall into my fine lines or anything like that. I think they wear really well. I think they blend out beautifully. They're easily blended out with a beauty blender or, you know, another sponge of choice. I really like those. Overall, these are not my absolute, like the entire line is not my absolute favorite out of all of the brands that have come out with correctors so far. However, I really like these. I'm going to keep them. I really do enjoy them. But if you're someone that's saying, I don't want all six, like maybe I just want one, I would get the lavender shade hands down. It is amazing. I love it. That's probably the most creamy and blendable one out of the six. And I just think it gives like such a really pretty brightening effect. And I just love that color. It is so pigmented. It is more pigmented and has more of that lavender undertone to it than any of the other correctors that I've used from other brands. And then my next favorites are definitely the yellow and green. I think the yellow one is really, really pretty and I also really like the consistency of the green one. I'd say if you're gonna get any of them or if you're gonna leave some of them, I would leave the reds. I honestly think that my Becca one papaya shades still are winning at the moment for actual under eye correctors as far as correcting really dark circles. I think those are still winning. So I would would say like if you're only going to get a couple of them definitely get the purple the yellow or the green but overall I'm really impressed like I said I haven't tried a ton of products from cover FX and I'm really enjoying these overall I'm really impressed by these I think they are beautiful they blend out really well and I'm just absolutely in love with that lavender shade I cannot live without that now that is 
so amazing. I love that lavender shade so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo of the new Cover FX correctors. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these correctors or if the, what's your favorite corrector out there on the market. And let me know if you guys have any questions as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!